We are back. Welcome to Green Room Radio. I am here with little Rach. What's up? What's up? We got a guest host, Wayne, in the building tonight. Yo, 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 yo. And then uh, we got a very special guest, DJ Bonix, in the house. Uh, Welcome to the show. Thank you. Is it Little Rach or is it Lil? It's Lil Lil. Rach, you know what I'm saying? It's Lil. Lil. Okay. Is it Bonix or is it Brandon? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you oh, are. you're gonna DJ throw DJ Brandon. You, you're gonna throw <laughs> DJ <laughs> Brandon in the house. Both you're gonna names. throw out his government name Let's right, off the, right <laughs> off of the rip. Right. It's so many girls that don't know his name is Brandon. Right. <laughs> now every time I see him, I'm be like, "Hi, Brandon." Internet. It is. It's Hi. all over the internet. Hi, Brandon. Oh, so, gave me that name. So you probably get so when those people start. Cheering, go Brandon for the president. That you That's think funny. they're talking to you? Oh man! <laughs> and that was like you should have cool that as say, a you should have that Brandon. as a as a, <laughs> like a, drop, as a, a drop on the thing. <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny. That'd That's be funny. dope. Actually, we could probably find twenty twenty four is coming back around. Know, hey, so right. what were you saying, Rach? You were saying something oh, earlier shit. about this this guy. You had uh, did you have a heart attack? They said earlier. Uh, I, I did have a heart attack. And That's it w- crazy. How old were you at that time? Thirty. But it wasn't Damn. like I was on the golf course and I was. It was actually, uh, you want a little quick? Yeah, yeah like, what, yeah. What, is that, what does that feel like? How, does it well, feel? how went, would you even know what that was happening? So I'll tell yeah. you how it happened leading up. I was on my first tour bus mm-hmm. tour with Wiz, and we smoked hella weed. At mm-hmm. the time, 2010, like, mm-hmm. you know, still was kind of like... Going crazy. Yeah. 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 Um, but, you know, it wasn't as super legal or, like, right. as f- super weed friendly. So after I got off tour with Wiz... Um, I was just back in Pittsburgh, and I was DJing, like, a Wednesday night somewhere, and I could tell, I was like... Something's not right. Mm-hmm. It's the very first time I actually had left the DJ gig. I was DJing. I was like, I got to go. Something's not right. Mm. So for three days, Damn. I was like, something's not right. Mm. How, how was it feeling? Though? Yeah, well, I, I just, well, at this point, I just couldn't breathe. Like, it was like, I, it was like, and oh, I was actually nervous that I, like, smoked my lung out or something. Oh, oh were shit, you over, yeah. Were you overweight Yeah, at I was all? pretty big. I was, I was pretty big. I was overweight, you know, Filipino diet type shit. Well, I mean, being mm. a, what was the thing? I was also, like, doing drugs. Call like, it a tour diet. I mean, tour diet, tour diet and like I mean, shit. we weren't doing like cocaine on tour, but like yeah. uh, I was like, you never did. When I was enjoying never did. yourself, but when I was in the clubs, like we don't carry that on the bus on how, tour. How big mm-hmm. were you at that yeah. time? I was probably like over uh, probably oh, two forty. Okay. Uh, what, what do you think mm-hmm. you weigh right now? I just weighed myself for the first time the other day. You weighed two forty. A one ninety seven. <laughs> hey. so first, first time wow. under two hundred in a nice, while. Nice. Anyway, so I was like staying at my buddy's house, mm. and um, I was like, I gotta go. I didn't have health insurance, so I had quit my job like five months later. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was on the radio in Pittsburgh, music director, number one afternoon show, Clear Channel. I quit to take a chance with this guy, Wiz Khalifa. Mm-hmm. Came out with black and yellow. Steelers go to Super Bowl that did, year. It's kind of crazy. Did he do that because uh, of you being Asian? Well, what? Or black and yellow? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the team. Um, <laughs> no, <Nah>, so uh, <laughs> I went to the clinic. So I, I was like, I got to go to the clinic. And so you, I went. Like you went to like an urgent care? Yeah, urgent yeah. care because I was like, maybe that'll be... So yeah. I, I explained to them, I was like, I can't breathe. Maybe you need to like x-ray my lungs or some shit. Mm-hmm. And they were like, we can't. Well, so they gave me x-ray. Like, we can't find anything wrong with your lungs. But because we don't know what's wrong, we think you should go to the hospital. And I think mm-hmm. they knew that I had uh, something went down mm-hmm. because ambulance pulled up and they put me in a stretcher and they gave me, I think, one of them, you know, old man pills when they're like supposed to have a heart attack. That you like put it under your tongue or yeah, some shit. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. heard about that. So then when I went to the uh, emergency room. The heart doctor, actually, he was already off. He came back and he said, you had a heart attack this morning and we're going to have to. And he's like, you have 99% blockage in your heart and oh one, of your, one of your arteries. Arteries, yeah. yeah. And so that I remember having to call my mom. Imagine calling your mom and be like, mom, I'm about to go have surgery. So they like yeah. drove from Philly five hours to Pittsburgh and they had already put me under. So by the time they arrived, I was out from under and I have a stint in my heart right now. Still? Yeah, no, it's crazy yeah, you yeah, said yeah. that. My, my dad at 40 years old had a triple bypass. Mm. All three arteries, and he retired. He retired at forty years old after that. But I mean, I just like look back at it, and, and not to be too poetic about it, but yeah. I, I say I like to say that God touched me. You know, mm-hmm. uh, because what would happen if God touched you? You, would I understand that one. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I think it was just a is a I call it the debt to the blessings, man. Because yeah, mm-hmm. what did they say? You know, at the at the clinic. I mean, did they say had you not? Came in there like if you Probably, waited. Maybe if I waited a couple day, more days, yeah, it like it might have, yeah, sure. it could have been gone. But what was wild is that, like you know, so I have the stint, and now it's like the blood's flowing, and I remember specifically waking up, and uh, you know how important oxygen is. We don't yeah. really think about this, but the colors 
of like normal everyday shit mm-hmm. was like bap. It Intensify. was like it was intense because now mm-hmm. I'm getting the right oxygen. All the right oh oxygen. My gosh. So everything was like fucking the snozberries take like snozberries, <laughs> you know? It was just like yeah. So that was cool. That was a wake up call. And you know, ever since then it's kinda like a struggle with um I don't want to say my weight, but just like dude, I was thirty. Like how do you know that you even yeah, like crazy. so you know, even like this as is kind of as you're uh, getting older. Yeah, as you're getting older, but yeah. mm-hmm. even like a few weeks, people got mad at me for this. But even a few weeks after, um, well, it was crazy because like just a few days out of when I got out the hospital, they're like, "Wiz has to do BET 106 in Park. Do you want? Do you think you could do it?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah!" So you <laughs> you're like, "I'm not missing that rip- immediately." And yeah, I just ripped it out <laughs> immediately. But people were, uh, I know one particular guy that was upset because he. Uh, <laughs> You know, like you should be resting. But here's yeah. the pro- here's the thing: is like if you had a heart attack and you had a job, you would use milk that shit for three months yeah. to not show up to That's work. But this is what I do. I, I you know at the time I'm a DJ and mm-hmm. this I love this and this is what I do. So what was I gonna do? This is like the start of like your career in well, a sense, it, right? It, it was the start, but it was the start of this new like hey with Wiz Ooh, and, doing okay. all that, and you get to be on BET and all that shit. So I'd already been DJing for like ten years before that, mm. but. Um, How long were you on the radio for? I was on the radio for seven years at that time, mm-hmm. and so I've done radio for like a pretty long time. I'm yeah. a radio vet, but You're a vet, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. So I, I was like, uh, yo, no, I'm gonna do the way shit, and just like you know, I couldn't. I, the doctor was like, you can't carry certain weight on your back. So I remember bringing my sister to New York so she could hold my bag and shit. Uh, but were I, you still I using gonna... crates back then? No, not that. That was like a little bit after the turning point, but okay. uh, still turntables and. Serato and all that shit. But. Yeah. So I saw that you were like donating to the American Heart Association. You know, uh, well, uh, in the beginning, I, my goal was to try to have like a foundation. Okay. And um, actually, the lady who was supposed to help me make the foundation, she ended up like having like getting cancer and stuff. So we yeah. never actually mm-hmm. sought it out. Bless her. But I always knew that, you know, I've done a lot of other sort of uh, give back to my community things. Yeah. And uh, I think when the time is right. Um, you know, go back and try to, I, I really would like to educate people on, you know, heart health, but yeah. I can't say I'm like perfect right now. So either, how did so. you yeah, say okay. like, as far as like your health? You could be an goes. advocate. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, there's just times where I like, yeah. I had to like, you know, a few years after that, like, or just like right after, you know, I just tried to eat perfectly, yeah. but then like eventually you fall off, mm-hmm. you know? We're human. Um, but so right now, and not to say that's, this makes me perfect health by any means, but it's been five years actually since I've eaten any meat. You know. Uh, oh wow! That's I don't good. eat meat myself yeah. either. So uh, it's it's not it's even cool. chicken. No, just nope. fish. Nice vegetables. So that's not what you said you were weighing. Yeah. Yeah. So you're pescatarian. Pescatarian. Yeah. Yeah. Pescatarian. Yeah. pescatarian. I eat chicken like every now and then when I get tired of eating fish. Wow. Yeah. So uh, yeah. one day I, I'm trying to get to a certain look and weight, mm-hmm. and so maybe uh, you know when that happens, mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Uh, I also think about like having my mom's food. She's getting older, so not to say that. You want to enjoy it. Yeah, but yeah. I need you're, to be you're healthy. Filipino? Yes. Yeah, so that's adobo, Good right? Food, hey. yeah. you know, Season you know. it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need some of that. Mm-hmm. So what so did you uh how did you know Wiz? Did you go to school with him? I mean, nah, so I'm, you from the radio? I'm older than him, so uh long story short, uh his producer and main engineer, his name's E Dan, Eric Dan, he uh, ID Labs. He um I I was buddies with him. Uh, and you know, I actually sold his first beat. I DJed his wedding. Um, well, when he had his studio, he just told me about Cam one day. He's mm-hmm. like, "There's this kid Cam who comes and raps after school with his friends, and he's better than everyone else." And so from that moment, you know, they were helping him, and I, in the capacity that I could, like I was on the radio, so I would play his shit when I wasn't supposed to. So and- was his name's Cam? Yeah, Cam. I actually, didn't actually yeah, yeah. know that. Uh, that's Cam or Cameron? Uh, Cameron, Cameron Tomas. Cameron, okay. And um, so i just been helping him with that. So he had a couple more DJs before I jumped in. Because at that time, I would say this, I was popping in Pittsburgh, I guess. You know, I was the guy on the radio, I was at the clubs, I was mm-hmm. everywhere. So I don't think it was my time yet to, like, I was, like, enjoying my stage. Uh, but then about 2010, I had been in the radio for a while. And it was like Jason Derula era, and like I wasn't, I was on pop radio, so I was just like, I'm not feeling this, and it just kind of came, man. It, so I, you didn't like Jason Derula? Uh, I actually, no, not really, <laughs> <laughs> but he might slap me if he sees. Yeah, like, no, no. Uh, watch call, out. No, I mean, he's got Jason, some bops. Jason Derulo made him quit. 
Yeah, Jason. It was like Jason Derulo, Pitbull, and that that time, and I just didn't didn't feel like you're like well, this is not my vibe. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. my vibe at the time. And and uh, yo, I'm gonna tell you when I was 18, mm-hmm. and this was so that was you know, you know, 12 yeah. years before that, and when I first started DJing, I literally yeah. was like, I want to take this around the world. Right. So like the mm-hmm. fact that it happened that way was crazy. So you know, That's eventually beautiful. Wiz was looking for a DJ. Mm-hmm. I quit my full time job benefits. Uh, that's so I didn't have benefits when I had my heart attack. You know, uh, Super James. I do. Yeah, so he was actually our first, one of our first people. Yeah, uh, on our show, and he was on that. Kind of sounds like the same station. The one hundred four, was it one hundred four point three? Out here, uh, maybe it was yeah. like pop. Like yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Like exactly yeah. what you're describing. Yeah, it's cool. And now I do pop radio now, and I actually want to get back into just. I do like a part time mix show and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I want to get back because I just think there should be more people of color in pop radio. That's a fact. Heck yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Tell them. Yeah. What mm-hmm. about uh, where was Mac Miller during all this time? Is he, was he younger than everybody? Yeah. So uh, 2010, yeah, he's younger than everyone. Little high school kid, actually. Um, I brought him up to the radio station a few times. I was there when he dropped uh, kid uh, kids at the radio station. So he was just kind of like the kid that you entertained, but you just... You had the little brother him a little bit. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when he did come to the radio station, he thought he was going to be interviewed and all that shit. And I was mm-hmm. just like, nah, man, you just coming to check you it out. You coming to hang you know, out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he asked me to wow. be on Kids Mixtape, which was cool. So mm-hmm. that was a cool adventure. And then he went on tour with us a few times with Wiz. Um, and so just seeing him become who he mm-hmm. was and, mm-hmm. and the relationship I had with him. And then, you, you know, years later... Mm-hmm. Elton John and all these people are talking about him. It's just like, I'm glad that I had my little, you know, like I, if I wanted to reach out to him and I did from time to time, mm-hmm. I could have. But, um, you know, I was in my own mm-hmm. magical world. Wiz it, and it's like you it, took these risks yeah. with Wiz and then you took the risk with uh, that guy. I'm like, fuck, what was his name? Which guy? Oh, Mac. Yeah, oh, I'm Mac. like, well, you know, like I brain farted. I brain uh, farted. <laughs> Mac asked me, one, it, this is how kind of sensitive it was. Yeah. And I wish I didn't. Mac asked me one time he, his DJ couldn't go to Canada because Canada's tough on the border uh-huh. and uh, he was like yo Bonix can you come to Canada with me and I said no I said no you have to ask Wiz <laughs> like that's kind of how it was for yeah. me it was like you gotta ask Wiz make sure he's cool with it because mm-hmm. like and looking back at it I think everyone would have been cool with yeah. it, but like you know, it was pretty like Taylor Gang, most dope. Like we just stayed in our lanes, yeah. Kinda, you know. Yeah. Uh, but well, how uh, does it feel like coming from Pittsburgh and like putting Piss- Pittsburgh on a map? Basically? I mean, because we were who were like nobody was even thinking about Pittsburgh, yo, know, and especially when right. coming from the hip hop culture is like who comes from there. Right. Well, like so around that time too, I won this DJ battle that yeah. got me to like a national level. Um, so like as a DJ, people yeah. were starting to know who I was, which yeah, was cool. Yeah. And I was like putting YouTube videos out like 2007 yeah. shit, type shit. Um, but just, yeah, that exact shit. Like, yeah. you know, what, what Nelly did for fucking, you know, St. Louis. Louis. Yeah. Uh, but St. Louis is different. Cause that's more of like a South Mid- Midwestville. When you talk about Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is like off to the side. Right. Well, <laughs> like if you ask people, cause I'm from yeah. Philly originally. Yeah. So if you ask some people in Pittsburgh, like Wiz would consider um, Pittsburgh Midwest. Oh, okay. Which is, uh, I mean, you're you think, all. Is that's it? crazy. But you're like, know, you're I'm from the East Coast. I'm like, nah, Detroit, Pittsburgh is definitely know. East Coast. Well, you're, yeah. But you're like, because it's Pennsylvania. But right. you're less than an hour away from Ohio. So if I said Ohio was Midwest, you'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. So it, it yeah. does, it does. Yeah. Pittsburgh's only an hour away from Ohio? Less than. Wow, wow I didn't even know that. that. So um, it was crazy, though, yeah. because, oh, you know, what's funny is that they played me black and yellow before it came out. And I liked it, but I was like, this is the song that you're going to put out? Like, as your first single mm-hmm. signed to Atlantic Records, mm-hmm. like a song about Pittsburgh. Yeah, I didn't. That didn't make no sense mm-hmm. to me at all. Um, but I lo, remember my lo and behold, time hearing, <sighs> my first like, time hearing shit. black, b- black and yellow. The video was on, and I was asleep. And I woke up like, what the, who the hell is this? But it was a black vibe. Yellow, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was cool because it wasn't it, fabricated. It really you know? was a vibe. It just took off, and then it yeah. was like, still to this day. If and you like play it, black and yellow, it's gonna bang. His mm-hmm. content too. Like people yeah. weren't really like showing weed like that. Mm-hmm. You know, like he was one of the dudes that was just like rolling it, smoking it in front of mm-hmm. camera. I love that. Yeah, it was, yeah. Really, which was super cool. And then it got me to listen to uh, Orange Juice and Kush. Kush and Orange Juice. Yeah, yeah. Kush, Kush and Orange Juice. And she never. I mean, never been. Was my yeah. favorite song. Yeah. Bro. And yo, when you go back and listen. Banger. Like like never been was like if the beat wise didn't sound like rap you know yeah. what I'm saying so it, I think that he like 
brought a lot of people out of their comfort zone mm. in a way because we just thought it was baggy tees, yeah. uh, fitted hats, right. and blunts. Yeah. And here comes this kid that's like joints, snapbacks, mm-hmm. and like kind of l- talking. Just yeah. Track yeah. With yeah. His, is he mixed with, with something? His voice? Nah, uh, He's a, no, no. He like brought oh, the Bob Marley for, element. Yeah, For some reason, he kind of has like, like a hip hop feel. Yes. Kind of has like an Asian feel. Absolutely. No, no, no. No, straight black. Straight black, yeah. Wow, because his name stands for a wizard successor, right? Something like yeah. wisdom, yeah, like yeah, something like yeah. that. Wisdom. What successor. does your name stand for? Bonix was I don't know. Sure, you're not old enough, but in the '90s, <laughs> they had E Bonix. Oh yeah, and oh, so that's where it came from. When I started as like a, I just thought of hooked on phonics. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, time, see, okay, well, I remember I thought, that one. I did a play <laughs> that on was in my time frame. No, yeah, see, yeah, that's yeah. good too. No, it was yeah. E Bon B Bonix because Brandon. Mm-hmm. Okay, Bonix, and it was like I was such a turntable nerd, so I was like, this is my turntable language, B Bonix. And then eventually on radio, uh, they had me take the B off because our competition was B ninety four. But it saved uh, me. It saved me so much because wow. when people ask me what my name is, they're like, "Yo, what's up?" I'm mm-hmm. uh, B Bonics, and mm-hmm. they always think I say E Bonics. So mm-hmm. it actually saved me probably twenty five years of being. <laughs> it's B Bonics, not E Bonics. <laughs> right. so. Oh my but gosh, is cool. right? I think it's a but even on, on True. Everybody says Drew. Yeah. Drew. Uh, Drew. Every single True? time. True. Drew. Drew. True. I know being on tour is crazy, but has there ever been a time where um, there was a crowd so big that you like made you nervous? Like, well, oh, uh, yo, there was. We did um, uh, in London. We did. Uh, I forget the name of the festival, but Drake and Nicki were on it, and how, it was just how, like how many people? I think they said it was like. 50,000? Oh, yeah, it was fucking geez. crazy. That's a sea of people. <laughs> How does that look? Like, Were you around yeah. still in the lighter phase or was it the f- back to the phones? Because I, I was, I started in when people were doing the lighters. Oh, to light yeah, up the no, thing. I mean, that's no, totally different. No, that yeah, would look yeah, crazy but it was, was 90,000 people with lighters. Yeah, I know. Damn. That's what. They were well, well, with phones? Yeah. Yeah, with phones you can actually crazy. feel the heat. Yeah. Like no, it looks pretty cool with, with all the phones. No, I wasn't. Yeah, there. I'm not that old. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna <laughs> you know, hit that saga. <laughs> Damn. So what is uh? Days. What was your favorite place here in the U.S. to play? Oh uh, man, it's always a kick to go back to Pittsburgh. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like again, not a lot of people did it out of that city. So yeah. just to be able to go back, like this past summer, it was Wiz and Snoop tour. Do they show up? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, they show, they show up, up but like, me. yo, I used to like intern at the venue that yeah. I was at. I used to be in the crowd watching 50. Mm-hmm. I used to be in the crowd watching M. Yeah. And even just being on tour with Snoop recently. And, you know, Snoop brought me to Europe actually a couple of weeks ago. At 43 years old, I'm 43 years old. I'm like, it just keeps getting. I, I love that. It's like surprises it me. Yeah. Like, you know, like. Yeah, we just did. Uh, we just had Snoop's dad. I mean, he was. Yeah, that was cool. Incredible. Bro, for is Snoop ever gonna stop? Or someone said this to me. Bro, he's like. He's someone said <laughs> he's becoming. Well, he's, he's becoming he, the new Shaq. He, he keeps like recreating Shaq is, himself. Shaq bro. is on. Is I feel like Shaq advertises for everybody. Yeah, yeah. he's like he's Snoop, like, and he's a DJ. Yeah, and now Snoop's a DJ. Like, how does Snoop, like how Snoop's does Snoop just gonna, continue to recreate himself? Someone said this to me recently. I forget like, who it was. They were like, "How Snoop's old is the Snoop? most famous rapper in the world?" Yeah. In the world, in the world, for sure. like I think the most famous rapper in the world ever. Snoop? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Snoop, Snoop is. Snoop oh is. shit! I think yeah. Snoop is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's still I relevant. See that? He's still, that he still is. Still relevant. Still, relevant. How, still, still how relevant. old is Snoop? Fifty-three ish. Yeah. Because two shorts M- M- like fifty-seven. Just turned Fifty-one on the two shorts only fifty-seven. Fifties. Yeah, I, I thought two shorts in his seventies. God no, damn! I thought he was way less than that. I'm like, what? Fifty-seven. For real. Oh my so. gosh! I don't think he's in his seventies yet. <laughs> he's definitely not. I think Ice T. I think Ice T. might be in his seventies. Yeah, Ice like shit. Sure, yeah, Ice I think he is. Yo, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, Snoop is. <sighs> it's crazy how he just keeps evolving. Like yeah, I mean, dude, he stays he's like, relevant. He's selling fucking Skechers now and <laughs> in that cereal. He's, he's a part of everything. But like, I don't see, ever I, see him and be like, "Yeah, that's corny." I'm like, "No, it's just." Snoop. Did you ever he, see him wearing uh, Skechers? Dude, he wears some Skechers now. Oh, he on does tour all the whole time. I would Crazy. too for the money you probably got. For yeah. Do you feel Easy. like uh, as a DJ, do you have to keep like evolving with the times, or uh, are you still kind of like still doing your thing from? You know what? When you I started. I probably could like um, update some things in my arsenal, but I've built a very nice baseline, and I say this tongue in cheek, but like my mediocre is like better than some people's like best. Best. I've, I've been wanting to set up battles here for a long time, so. 
I always call our my my set DJ is Deville, so I'd like to see you battle him. Battle? Oh, what, what do you think I about mean, that? What I do would think? do. I would do my best. <laughs> I would like do my best. best. What do you think of him though? Do you think he's a good DJ? I only know Deville from like his edits, and his obviously edits, yeah. he travels. He was in China doing those things, so he's one of the ones. Man. I told Crooklyn people, Clan. I yeah, he's like original Crooklyn Clan guy. I tell people, I'm like, people don't realize that even right down to Jay Bling, every club you go in, t- from Tiesto to whoever. They're playing You're about playing twenty of his edits, edits yeah. of, of, yeah. of his things, and I mean, not only that, but he got out of you know he went to full sale, yep. and then he became a teacher. Mm. So like people out here that have gigs that he doesn't like, for instance, like a Jeff Retro over there at Hakkasan and Omnia, Deville was like he was a student of mine, and then other people out here were students, and he's like if I had to rate them like retro <laughs> on my scale he's like he'd be like in the 50s somewhere wow so he was like he, he was just i was just like you know vegas is different with these djs were you ever a part of a like a scam artist uh, or no are you uh, part of that no, headliner uh no uh sujit asked me a few years back to be scam i don't think it ever like went to fruition i'm yeah. a heavy hitter so uh, if you're familiar with new york he- city Heavy hitter. Um, heavy hitter DJs, DJ Enough, who's Biggie's DJ, DJ yeah. Camillo, all those guys. Uh, but I, I do in Vegas. Uh, I mess with Blueprint Sound, yeah. uh, DJ Direct, and the gang, and and he's you know he's DJ from Philly. Yeah, I think uh, I think the, what is Deville Club Killers? Uh, yeah, I think he's Club yeah. Killers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them and I see the headliner, headliner music, music club. Yeah, they're is cool. Scam, is Scam friends. even around? I yeah, Scam's still around. Oh, Scam I, artist. I heard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. I heard Sujin got in a little trouble, but. I don't know what what for, but I just feel like I haven't been seeing them, uh, the, like the, seeing yeah. signs. I used to see a lot of scam right. billboards. Yeah. And uh, I won't I won't speak on what happened with Suji recently, yeah. but definitely something happened. So I just think that they're probably cooling out for a minute. But the the scam DJs are still out there, definitely in full effect. Well, something something really crazy that I learned just like on a <coughs> on a freak way. Uh, DJ Bad Boy Bill has been one of my homies forever. Yeah. And he actually he's from came, Detroit. No, no, he's okay. Chicago. But okay. yeah, right, right. He right. came out here, and uh, I did a show with him in Detroit. I, I went back, and I did a throwback rave. And so Bill's been with Am Only, same manager as Tiesto, you know, the owner forever since day one. And so when I got his contract, he had an Am Only contract, and then a scam artist contract. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you're a scam artist, DJ? Mm. And he was like, No, man. He's like, Me and Paul from Am Only. They own scam artists, oh. not Sujin. Sujin was like the sit-in. Right. Mm. Bad Boy Bill, I mean, he's done a lot of shit people don't like. I mean, Bad Boy Bill's like super legendary. Yeah, like you know how he started? What was that thing he started? The music, uh, you know, with the guy, Beatport. Oh, okay. I didn't know Remember Beatport? That. Yeah. That yeah, was Beatport. Bad Boy. Yeah. Dude, Bad Boy Bill, not only did he start Beatport, I, th- I thought I heard he cashed out like in the realm of 40, 50 million off Probably that. Still going. But he did that with the manufacturer superstars at Brad and them. Mm-hmm. And then uh bad boy bill invested in their nightclub, which I don't know what it's called, but it was the number one nightclub in Denver, yeah. like some electronic club. But I'm like behind the scenes, Bill's involved in everything. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I heard AM only, I just recently had a booking for Tiesto. Paul left AM only. And I guess all those DJs went to like a sports company that books out athletes right so now they're taking care of them and paul is exclusively with tiesto he's mm. the only guy now wow but i'm like bro you've been doing that shit so long it's a whole other world Tiesto's still going though Super. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah i think he's do you think he does botox maybe <laughs> dude people don't realize tiesto's been getting paid tiesto money for like way before yeah, that bro. boom and he just seems still cool like a cool guy yeah, yeah. i think he lives here full time as a matter of fact but what country is he from <sighs> I don't even know. I want to say Spain, but I actually don't know. Can you look up, Hugh, what uh, country uh, DJ Tiesto is from? Netherlands. Mm. Mm. Man, that guy's been around for so long. <laughs> like, it's great. Man. Way before the way before. I, love, the, I like seeing cats that have been doing it for a while still <laughs> winning because he's still, you know, he's still like just. Especially in hip hop, there's such a like, you're old. Uh, yeah. Stigma and yeah, shit. It's like you're supposed to be done at a certain age. Right. Yeah. How old, what what age range is Wiz in? Wiz is 35. He's, he's 35. Yeah. Snoop, we're guessing, is in his 50s. 52. 52. Yeah. Uh, Drake's 37. Can, can mm. okay, this, this would be a two part question. Sure. Can, can Wiz uh, outsmoke Snoop? I see uh, they've done some back and forth battling. Yeah, that, I mean, <laughs> if you really want. How do you really outsmoke wa- somebody, though? How does that work? 
I've seen them like hand like a. Out. That's a good question, Wayne. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they gotta I would out. say they gotta say I'm done. Not to give that I'm away, but yeah. in, in that clip, yeah. you know, there's a little acting there. Was like, you gotta give it up to the OG Snoop. So yeah, can well, we, I was gonna say it because uh. I was gonna say there's Snoop now, but then okay, if you if you have to if you had to back up Snoop to Wiz's age, and then now they're battling when they're in their I guess they'd both be in their primes. I mean, I w- like Snoop likes good weed, so that. But I feel yeah, like Snoop's that, dad said he still smokes. Yeah, uh, Snoop's dad still Snoop's smokes. Dad. I, I guarantee. I mean, weed is good though. Right? Yeah, bro. He <laughs> said like good weed. I never heard of anyone that died of weed. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I the the thing with weed, I never I never got into it. I'll do it sometimes, like when I know my day's done, and it's funny. But like, I tried everything because, like, you know, I take sleeping pills. It's not hard enough for you. No, well, no, yeah, no, it's not. But this I mean, motherfucker needs like an edible or something. I, f- I feel like if he smokes, he like gets too high. Yeah, like at least an edible, you can know like, okay, this is like two milligrams. A, that's or what, this I want to hit that Taylor game. You just that. don't know when you well, smoke. I you, you honestly I'm gonna don't. Get, I'm gonna get you one just so you can. Somebody, uh, I went what to EDC it? and somebody asked me. They Gravity said, bong. they said, have you ever done? Oh, a, that one. Yeah, they said, <laughs> they said, have you ever done a dab? And I was like, no. Oh They're like, God. you want to try one? That earth smokes a lot, guys. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll try one. So he had a little yeah, puff try cup. one. And uh, I was sitting oh, in the God. back of the bus with all these girls, and I just went up there for like five minutes. Bro, I hit that. The thing I liked about it is it's just like, poof, and it's oh, in, in right. you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I couldn't fucking move an arm, a leg, <laughs> and all I kept yeah, doing. Yeah, dabs are. D- d- bro, I was looking at the back of the You fuck with dabs? Bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like if it's dabs. there, I'm not like going out of my way. I feel like, like that's a anything young Anything that you need thing. to bring a torch out, it seems pretty <laughs> Yo, we got like, portable <sighs> devices now. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, use yeah, my no, Dr. Dabber. I'll do some dabs. I'll do some dabs. My little boost Evo. You said you don't smoke weed. Like, never interests you? Are you scared of it? Not like scared, but like. I had took an edible probably like last year. My first time. And um. Dude, I called the hospital. And I, <laughs> How much did you eat? I, I, I ate two. Two? I, my first time, I, I, I didn't it know. It was just like a homeade one? You get it nah, from the dispensary. I got it from the dispensary. So you ate two, two, two one, 200 like, milligram. Because you didn't feel the first one. 200 milligram freaking edibles. I don't know it, what milligram. I think they were like. Because usually they come in like 100 milligrams. Like either 10 or 100. 15 milligrams each. I took two. Damn. Okay, so that's 30. Cool. I mean, I mean, but that's still a lot if you're like. A, if you, I mean, if you never edible, smoked. I've never done it. Edibles You should have took like two or five milligrams. I was tripping. Edibles yeah, tough, you definitely man. would be tripping. Yeah. You can't predict it's edibles. Hours, it's psychoactive. Hours. I just yeah, I don't the process understand. is differently in your for stomach. Hours. The whole Absolutely. Sa- the whole sativa indica thing. So 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 one of my girls tried to put me on a uh, indica, and I'm like, did it put me to sleep? Yes, but then it also put me walking to the refrigerator 45 mm-hmm. times. <laughs> so I'm like, I technically right. was. Well, like, how I wonder, like, if I didn't well, sleep, were you hungry I, or just yeah, just hungry. I wonder. I like, probably like that's called the really munchies. If I didn't. Yeah. Smoke weed. I think I like if I stop smoking weed, I probably like mm. lose a hell of weight. Bonnie, who, oh, yeah. who are you listening to right right now as far as music? You know, I'm doing this jazz show okay. on uh, at UNLV every Saturday night, so mm. I've been like listening to a lot of like. Hugh over here is a UNLV alumni. Hey. Actually, not even alumni. Is still a oh. student. No, I just like I just got this last oh, week. What? Both. He's both, which is exciting. Have you heard Drake's album? Uh, I didn't listen to all the way through, but I listened to some of the tracks everyone's talking about. Look, I got my own UNLV faculty and stuff. Oh, card. wait, do you have your card, Hugh? Hugh, you better bust Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Are you guys going to both like, this is my card. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. No, that's pretty cool. Love uh, it. They said I could use the like library and computers and... You know, walk around on campus. That's cool. Okay, you get, get that discounts. VIP. So you're listening to jazz right now? Yeah, I listen to a lot of jazz. I actually listen That's to like vibe. podcasts. I, you know, music has been such a job for a while. So um, it's good to switch it up. Yeah, I just like I like hearing people talk. Mm-hmm. I like hearing people talk. Mm-hmm. I like to hear how people express themselves. I like listening to music without words a lot lately, mm-hmm. especially if I'm shrooming and shit. I, I don't like to be influenced. Mm-hmm. So I like. Dude, to, I feel you know, that. I like mm-hmm. to hear the music. So that's me. It makes me kind of not that exciting uh, as far as like <laughs> if you want me to talk about rap albums recently. But you know, yeah. I do love like Larry June, and yeah, I haven't got into him yet. Really, have no, you? Don't like, you don't like him, is. or you haven't listened to him? Well, I feel like he's um, he's like St- a stoner rapper a little bit. He's nah, I feel like he's like a. He reminds me too much of Dom. Okay, Kennedy. Okay, I, I don't really like listening to like people who kind of share sounds. Right, right. right. I kind of like you know yeah. individuality when it comes to art. Uh, I I think he has like a Wiz vibe, you know, like some of the beats. Like you know, his first mm-hmm. tape was like produced by Sledgerin, who was a Wiz producer. Yeah. Where are you from, though? I'm from LA. Okay, you're from yeah, LA. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I can kind of hear like a, the inspired and Wiz and right. Dom. It's just kind of it's. I can hear it too clear. So I'm right, like, right. Yeah. No, that's cool. I respect yeah, that. He's, he's doing his thing, though. Yeah. It's so much music though, so it's really hard to yeah. like. 
And I do, uh, I am in that whole, like, uh, you know, I think some of this shit right now is, like, pretty demonic, too, so. Uh, yeah, it. right? All I was going to ask I, uh, you, what do you think about, like, the, the community right now, like, the DJ community and how DJ that, that is cool. right now? I have to just stop myself from being, like, an old guy and being like, oh, they're not really DJing or anything <laughs> like that. I, well, just, I mean, half of them <laughs> aren't, right. though. They yeah, really right. are. One, right. one of the first Sorry, things but I saw really not. here in Vegas, there was, like, there was like, actually, I won't even say his name, but. It was a really big figure. And remember at Body English, they had like this little side VIP room. I don't know. Oh, they had a door and it was just like a little room. They called it a VIP, but it had Mm -hmm. a bar. And at the Hard Rock? At the Hard Rock, yeah. yeah, yeah, And I'm watching this guy DJ and I'm like sitting there just. He's not even doing anything. No, he he didn't have the fucking needle on the record. Oh, And it was going around and he's like doing this and Uh, doing. Well, I And I walked up to him. I'm like, bro, put the needle on the thing. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. But I'm like, that's what a lot of these. Yeah, we a lot of those sets because they they well, they, these sync, DJs they sync it up with the with the visuals now. So yeah. like the visuals, it's the plug and play. But then right. the DJs are merely just accessories of the club now. Right, they have a name, so right. they're gonna you want to be there. And they just bop yeah. around behind yeah. the like I'm in a place where table. I, I would I don't do even all, care yeah. about them tell like I don't even care about my face being on a flyer or my name in there anymore. But uh, you know, I still want the, that same money. Um, There's an actual talent behind DJing. There is, but like yeah. I can respect where it is now. What, a little yeah, but bit. where do what do you Are think you sh- of I mean, Las Vegas DJs? Because when I I was doing all the bookings at Excess when when the, when the big wave of those DJs come in. Okay. Now I have to say Jesse did it, but Jesse didn't know nothing about DJs. Right. So they had him, and then there was a guy there. I think his name was Pizzo. All right. So he had booked the locals. Mm-hmm. Now these locals, man, I'm like I could put my I level ten DJs in Detroit against them, and they would torch them. Right. Well, the and then these guys are making twelve, thirteen hundred a night. Well, there's as an like a, from just my understanding, and I could yeah. be wrong for someone who's lived here for a long time. There's a bunch of tiers that like so. There's like the t- super top top, right? DJ Snake, whatever. They yeah. can pretty much come and do whatever they want because they're a draw. Right. I'm in a weird little. I, since I live here now, they tell you to play down. Well, I'm kind of local, and I'm not. Mm. But they're not. Some of these clubs aren't booking DJ Bonics. They're booking uh, someone who recommended DJ Bonics. So sometimes I feel like I got to play the Vegas game. Oh yeah, because I because they're not. Of course booking, you do. Yeah, yeah. And so sometimes it's hard for me because they know, like they know what they want. Like if I was a name that and I came to like DJ Bonics, I feel like I could kind of do what I want. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know fuck what I mean? it, you For can that. do what you want, though. I, not really, because I want the return there. play. Yeah, yeah. I want the return play. Hey, so these I have people to, out here will yeah. box yeah, you yeah, out yeah. so yeah. quick. He, might, he wants Vegas to keep getting hard, booked, man. so he, he has to play politics. So there is a politics part, but uh, uh, but it's okay. Like People who fuck with me, like I like playing on the record a lot, because I can get Oh, I love that. I love that It's a good little place. And shout out to the Houston brothers. Dre's After Hours kind of keeps me hip or whatever. But They put you in the urban room, or they put you in the little house room? They don't. I don't see the house room that much anymore. Yeah, I think they pretty they much do did the away urban with room. So yeah. uh, th- it's cool. Like I, again, I don't identify with a lot of the young rap shit, but like you know, it's okay to still be hip. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever pl- have you ever played Takashi Six Nine? Uh, why, why not? not often. Not, <laughs> but, but you have not often. Not That's often. your favorite person. No, I'm just saying. Like he, in his heyday, were you playing? I think Takashi has some bangers. Bro. He, he, he did have some bangers. Yeah. His is That's high some... vibration, bro. You gonna dance to his music? <laughs> yeah. It's that high vibration. <laughs> nah, it is. I was getting high. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Definitely. I, I think so. Right. What, what, yeah, I blur out him. that. I music. didn't play him too much. I played <laughs> the the joint with him and Nikki, and like he had some like hype shit. But yeah, like, if I didn't have thing. to, I didn't. I didn't need to. You know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he was a bad artist when he was an artist. I don't think I, I could understand why people fuck with him. I'm just like all the other shit. It's like Blueface right now. Like, and yeah, every like, time I hear Blueface, he's in trouble. That's I like respect. It. Like, NBA. cool. He has a cool song, but Young I don't boy. understand why they're like driving him down my fucking timeline constantly. PR. PR, and, they but it's keep like, him relevant. But that's what I'm saying. For what though? And that's the shit. Well, that, he's controversial but too. That, well, no, he's not too much controversial. Mm. I wouldn't call them controversial at it's all. It's just like it's just more. They're so forcing like, it, dude, because no one cares ghetto. that much about. Yeah, that, that no, shit. It's right. like the agenda. Yeah. 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 Yes, they want to show like ratchet. a sexy ride agenda too. Like, ratchet, a little bit. It's, it's, it's ratchet. Ra- it's, right. it's ratchetness. Yeah. You know, so we don't really tune into the reality shows no more. So now we got Blueface. So that's just <laughs> right. we got Blueface. No more reality TV. We got Blueface. No one, right, blue right, right, no right. one is Fuck looking. It, I'm for still blue watching face. reality like, TV. No one is searching for Blueface. That's why I don't understand why they keep. Yeah. They need something. He to has great PR. No, the young. I'm much. telling you, the young people are really into it. He has great PR. Yeah, for sure. I don't. I don't know for sure. That's <laughs> just just like um. Wack, I'm, wack well, we had a great job. 
Yeah. We There's had so many uh, different fucking yeah. people. What's it called? We had, who was it, Strick? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Strick was signed to Young Thug's thing. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. he had a couple number yeah. one hits with Young Thug and mm-hmm. then uh, I think a Grammy nomination with Future. But I was telling him, he was asking me what I thought of the music. And I said, today's music sucks. I'm like, I don't understand auto tune. I said, it's not even real, whatever. Meanwhile, all his shit. Right. Auto-tune. Auto-tune. Right. He's like, he's like, to he's a like, certain degree. Yeah, yeah, he was like, well, you know, all young, young thugs music is, and I'm like, well, I go, I'm just letting you know, like, I don't, Sorry. I don't really pay attention Who to what's going on. Who actually sucks to you right right now, music wise? Uh, like sucks. Like actually, I don't. I actually don't pay attention enough to know. I'm, I'm just not into this whole newer. Like, mm. I had to pick. I like, think NBA Young Boy sucks. Young Boy, the That's trip, okay. the trippy reds. I can like name you the, one NBA Young Boy. I, I, don't, I, I can't. And I one. get it though. Like young people need someone that everyone hates to like. You know what I mean? I just don't like his music at all. Yeah, I, 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 don't. I feel him though. Like keep you know keep doing your thing. I just I don't listen to him. We need yeah. better music. We do need better music. I, <laughs> I mean, I like Drake album. I like. Um, uh, that new album came out. I was like, oh, I like it. It was kind of weird, low key. I like it. Well, it's hard to do like one listen reviews, you know. Like, yeah. you, like you have to. Like, I remember mm-hmm. buying CDs when I was younger and like would be mad. I was like, this is not as good. But then you listen to it like ten times. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Oh, I love it. Good. Yeah. yeah. You you, were you in the that tape era at all? Yeah, of Did course, you? of yeah. course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about a dat? You ever tried to uh, I know. Is I know. Yeah. I, mean, I never had a dat, though. What's like, that? you know. What's a dat? It's like a tape. It's like <laughs> oh, a small shit. tape, but they use dats for like. I'm too young they used for to those. use them for shows. For shows. Yeah. For yeah so I told people I was the dat guy. So mm-hmm. they would. Yo, you dat guy? So that, that guy. Well, they, that guy. <laughs> that was that guy. But it's the whole show. Mm-hmm. So, the, so say Eminem's doing a show, you mm-hmm. got it on a dat. Mm-hmm. So you'd go like and you give it to him. Yeah, you're oh, putting so, it. So that was like the old they had a dap machine, yeah. Oh, shit. Because you know those <laughs> tour DJs Damn. up there ain't doing shit. Mini discs. Yeah. Bonix, you know you guys tour up there Tour DJs, ain't. Uh, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Some better than Maybe others. Before and after. Nah, we do. Do you play a little bit before he goes on? I no. used to a lot. Yeah. I don't as much, mm-hmm. uh, but mainly because like... I don't want to take the wind out of the sails. Like, I think there's something about someone screaming... For 15 minutes before someone you make some fucking noise, make some fucking noise. But you have to do noise. that. You got to keep them awake. I don't think you have to. I think that you have because then by the time, especially if like they decide to come off later, then it's 25 minutes of mm. are you ready for Wiz Khalifa? Um, so sometimes I just like let Wiz take the stage the mm. way he would. It's not it's Wiz Khalifa show, not Wiz Khalifa DJ. I mean, Box. you've been doing it for a minute too, so I feel like you probably pick up the vibe. Like, and I'd be thinking like, about uh, it way too much like, though. Oh, okay. So like, have uh, they, have now they you're told you? Exactly, have exactly. they told you I out here as too. a Vegas DJ, like when you're opening for somebody or whatever, like they'll tell you to play down? No, that hasn't happened to me yet because I haven't yeah, really see, opened I, too much. I, I got a. I ended up getting Deville in excess, and it was really funny because I'm like. Dude, he's far better than all the residents mm-hmm. there. And so, like, here's a good example. So he he went in there, and he was abdomen on. He's like, hey, most of these people that set these speakers, these boards, he told Jesse, he's like, I want access to the room. Mm. Bro, he tweaked the whole sound system, and he was going on before Laid Back Luke. Mm. And, I mean, I love Laid Back Luke. Who the hell is that? Uh, he's he's more of a like electronic DJ, oh, but I mean he, back Luke. he plays yeah he you, plays you a lot of cool him? shit. No. Uh, <laughs> you know who laid yeah, back he, Luke he's is from uh, the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like know. a he's kind of like a Diplo. Like oh, okay. Diplo plays a little hip hop, little electronic. But uh, Deville went in there and he said everything. And uh, then Jesse told him he goes, "You can't play any songs that you think the headliner is going to play." Yeah. And Deville wasn't used to it. He's like, "So what are you saying?" And he's like, well, "You just got to play down." Like, play nothing that you think the headliner will play. Because then right. you're just, like, repeating And then DeVille was like, I'm not doing that. He's like, bro, I play what I play. Right, right. So there was, like, a big scramble over that. But what was crazy was he went on, and it was the most crazy. The club was insane. Like, I mean, he definitely outstaged Laid Back Luke. But Laid Back Luke, apples to apples, is definitely better. Mm-hmm. But even, even Jesse was like, why did it sound better? When he was playing versus laid back See, Luke. Now that's bad. Hey, that's, de- yeah, yeah, but de- you don't want that to happen. No, but you want to say comes in here. Well, no, this is what Deville said, and I'll never forget this. Deville looked at Jesse and he said, "Because I know what every single button does on here." And mm. he's like, "75 percent of DJs don't." Mm. So he set all the speakers. He set it all to his preference oh, mm. in the entire yeah. club because you know you don't realize oh, it, but wow. out here. Rock and roll guys come in these electronic clubs and they set these speakers and yeah, stuff. I hate DJs. Yeah, and they just don't. 
They just don't do it right. <laughs> how how hard is it for this you? This is to, not real music. For you to date, like yeah. what's that? Being on a road, like how hard is it for uh, you to date or take chicks serious? Um, it just depends what era you're talking about. I mean, you know? both. I mean, you got now, then, like mm-hmm. how, how well, like how hard now that I'm been? forty plus, it's, it's different. So mm-hmm. you were like, I don't know, like I'm seeing someone right now. I got mm-hmm. a girl. Yeah. Um, a, but. I don't. That's a tough question. Is she younger or older? She's younger. Okay. But uh, like, how, I guess what's before the, what's the youngest that you'll date. Uh, that you that you would. Consider I mean, I would say the youngest this, person. Age. Like, I definitely have dated like people, t- maybe almost twenty years younger than me. Okay. <sighs> that's some people. Like, that's is that is, is is that bad? Uh, I I mean, we we had a guest. Uh, this guy Michael Sartain and uh. He said, maybe not 20, maybe like 15, 16. He said, uh, so he met a girl and I mean, we saw the picture of her and I mean, if I had to guess, I would say 32, 33. Yeah, we thought she was in our thirties. She was 20 and he's 45, but his whole wait, point wait, was she he looked 35. She was, he, yeah, she was, she had a tit job, oh, the lips, just everything. everything she about just looked older. She looked older. Yeah. Yeah. But the whole thing was, is he was super pumped about that. Like, he's like, yeah, I pulled a 20 year old. And to me, I don't know, it just kind of made me feel weird because I'm like, <laughs> I have an 18 year old. Right. And so me having a conversation with him, I can't imagine having a conversation with a girl. However, if if I went out and met a girl that was and didn't, or even know. let's say she was 20 know. and, and I didn't know mature. and you ended up liking her. Okay. But I probably wouldn't go around being <laughs> like, hey, this is. I, I got this 20-year-old. They got to be cool, though. Like, I think most of the girls that I fuck with are cool. 34. You know? 34. Okay. So There's, you, like, you, cool people you want to be around, not just, like, they're hot and 20. Like, mm-hmm. that's not my vibe. You know? I mean. Hey, that's what happens I'm, when you get I'm, older. I'm, You're like, she's mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> she's so, funny. So you would say back then it was harder to date because you was, like, constantly well, like, so Or you just had so many chicks. Man, it depends what era. So when I was on the radio, like, so when you're on the radio in like the city, like, yo, like a girl's turning you on every single day. So for them, they're like, oh my God, I date Bonics. Uh And so I could understand that they were like, that's cool. But as I get older, um, nah, you just want to, I don't date as much because it lessens the uh, chances of dealing with a crazy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So the more you scared. date, the more you date, the, the more, more chance you so got to get with a crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, I've dealt with crazies. Mm-hmm. So Fair. I definitely am just like, if there's any sign of crazy, I'm you, like, you out. I'm out. Yeah. Even before, like, uh, you know, touching it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Oh, so you ain't even touching it if, it's, if they're crazy. Like, I ain't even going to touch Because it. how do you know? That they're crazy? Yeah, before you even touch There are right, signs. There's are, there are signs. Not before. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah little and bit. Same little thing bit. for men. Men tough. have red flags and so there do flags. women. There are and flags. it is major. Like, usually, that shit is obvious. Usually women If you know, you know. Or am I bugging? Women yes, usually come after you hit. No. Not out here. Not in, I, 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 I don't think so. I don't, know. I don't know. There's levels to it, There's I feel levels like. to it. There's definitely yeah. levels to it. And it's always the ones that say they're not. But for a whole while, I'm like, I'm a nerd. I, like, for a while, I was like a nerd. Like, mm. uh, my, I wasn't, I don't think I, I didn't get this far because my looks. Let's just put it that way. Mm. I don't think I'm a bad looking guy, you, but. You got that Wiz Khalifa pussy? Did he, he get you some girls? Yo, you know what? But of when course. he was, I was, <laughs> yo, I was 10 years older, so it wasn't really, it didn't really, yeah. like, yo, these Tour girls, that yeah, doesn't. That's I not know. me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you never did it. If, it, if it didn't vibe, I mean, didn't I would meet people. Like the best play, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you on tour is like you have someone in those cities. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you just and hit them you, up. Well, you know, they, and they know the deal. Like, yeah. hey, I'll be in town. They mm-hmm. know that they're not gonna post or mm-hmm. or you know they just know that I'm gonna go like because you. There's people that you bring around Wiz or you bring around stars and they they'll fuck, yeah, they they'll fuck, you gotta your, gotta shit. Well, they'll fuck your shit up. That's uh, used to right. it. Yeah. You gotta yeah, get someone that's used to it. But that didn't happen in the yeah. beat. But here's the thing. I was kind of popping in Pittsburgh, so I was like okay in in Pittsburgh. So when I went on tour, when I was in Paris, they were worried about pussy. I was worried about Paris. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go see <laughs> Eiffel Tower. I wanted yeah. to see this shit. So I wasn't focused on that. Mm-hmm. I was focused on trying to meet the local DJ right. so I could come back right. and they know who I am. That doesn't mean I wouldn't like meet a pretty had girl and shit like that. Well, I mean, yeah. I, there's opportunity has been had, but of I'm course. not. It's not like a pussy first situation mm-hmm. for me. Which there are people who are, and I respect that. I too, think that just know? shows the type of man that you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. No, I've kind of nice guyed myself in a corner sometimes too. So for real, uh, because I'm, I'm just not that aggressive with pussy. You know what I mean? I feel like out here, <laughs> nice guys. The, no, I, no, I'm just. No, I, I feel you because I mean, you gotta, you know, just kind of let it come to you. 
Well, I, yeah, well, for a while because I don't, because I like I, yo, I wasn't getting girl. I didn't lose my virginity until I was like eighteen. You know, like, damn, that's late. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's late. late. That's late. That's that's late. late. Um, I feel bad for you. No, nah, nah, <laughs> I mean shit. I've had. I've, I've done How my old were you, Wayne? Hmm? He's How like, old I went to the first girl. Um, I was like thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, I, I was young, was but I was introduced to her early. Exactly. Bro, I had brothers, cousins. Right. It was just. Like, I mean, I was fat and awkward, so yeah. like you know, I wasn't yeah. the first choice. Like my yeah. homies were, and that's fine. But mm. I think I like to say that like my mm. career is uh, sometimes a response to that. Yeah. Hey, y'all don't fuck with me then. Oh, now y'all fuck with me now. Yeah. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I could. That's cool for me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I listen, have, I've had my fair share of. No, I'm not for sure. Beautiful. It's, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I don't think it's about when you start, but I just was so curious about it young, so I kind of dove into it plus it was kind of pushed on me so right you had no other choice because like everybody like, oh, you a virgin you don't get no pussy so that was just like a it's right. just interesting that, hearing yeah. the different perspectives from that i told that people when we were touring man yeah like we would only have a couple off days but we'd just be sleeping someone man. told me this and I, I don't know if i believe it, but eminem tour i don't know if you were with him then but he toured this club laga in pittsburgh and someone told me they're like there was a line to suck his dick, and I was like, and that, that's <laughs> easy to believe when you're you all, younger. Like, oh crazy. shit, I can tell you a hundred percent no. Uh, uh, nope. Marcel uh, what? doesn't doesn't never's done a doesn't do club appearances, doesn't do nightclubs, doesn't hmm. not like that at all. Right, like whatsoever. Right, but I'm we, sure we it would have though, because M was hot, hot. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean that's what was crazy. I was telling her, I was like, people ask me all the time. They're like, oh, did you have all these groupies or whatever? Like we were, that's like, what people n- say to me. Yeah, I was like, like well, no. girls be like, oh, you must get a lot of girls because you're on tour. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, you would you would think yes, so, bro, because it's so available. I, I had so much right, true, but, but I had so much responsibility that like I was like you just didn't like you didn't have the time really. But if these that's girls what, acted like this when Wiz pulled up, they acted like that from every other fucking rapper that pulled up mm-hmm. the, in the but, past yeah. year. Right, I hung out with Wiz once, and he's so laid back, bro. He's like welcoming to everybody. So yeah, Wiz good guy. Yeah, he's not thirsty yeah. at all. He's just was, nah, he, but he likes that. Like I mean, he's got a girl now. Yeah, but you know, I've sure. seen him you know, when he was married to Amber. He was very. We weren't, we weren't even allowed to bring girls backstage. Oh, Amber yeah. was tripping. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, plus, mm-hmm. like you know. Then too, social media was like Wild West a little bit. So you take a picture mm-hmm. of Wiz backstage, like, and that's, and that's the a fucking, girl like super crazy. close to you. Like, if I took a picture with you and posted and it, close. people would yeah. be like, "Ah, oh, you fucking her!" Oh my God, you guys it's are so dating. crazy that people like think like yeah. that. Yeah, so I mean, because yeah. most of the time, somebody, I mean, you are fucking her. Well, because people think that men and women <laughs> cannot be friends. Can they? I think so. I think men and women can be friends. I think I men and women. Can I think be it friends. depends on a guy, though. I think it depends on a guy. Yeah. What do you think? I would say, yeah. I think it depends it's on the It's a mindset, guy. too. Like, I mean, if you, guys if you, do if you think you can't up, be friends with the other sex, and that's think, your fucking, I think that's what you thirst, think. Like, uh, thirst level. I think you got to really, like, be immune to pussy in, in order to be friends with women. You got to be immune right. to it. Like, it's it's there, but it's not. Right. Like, that's not, you got to have well, yeah, a, you can't be, like, thirsty. because yeah, You, you got to know where to place you, women at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you, you can't smash everybody. I just don't believe in that. I think you got to have some some girls that aren't your homegirls. Right. Some Absolutely. hot, you know, some some hot. Is Wiz different when he's with a? Now that he has a girlfriend. No, not really. Wiz yeah. is super fucking cool, man. Yeah. Um he does his. Yeah, thing he's too. actually somebody like I said. When when you're touring, you usually meet pretty much everybody. But I've never really crossed paths with him. Wiz, he don't like, like you know. Few. He doesn't have songs with Drake, and uh, mm-hmm. you know he kind of sticks to himself. Did he bit. make a uh, good money off of that uh, that song he did for the Fast and Furious? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, there, I just I just posted about? an article that uh, it's the number one most. Uh, mm. Was it, I miss you, my friend? Is that what it's called? Uh, see, you see you again. again. See you again. Yeah, that's it's like the, the number one funeral song, right? Yeah, it's the number one mm. rap verse. Actually, like, I, uh, what was weird is what what was it? MJ Bizcon or something? That was the first time I ever seen Wiz play. We went to Dre's and we got a table, and so when they played that song, they were showing all the mm. rappers all the, and all everybody that like passed, passed yeah, away. Yo, that, I mean, that mm. record. Uh, first of all, um, I think there was a bunch of verses that, like, so it was a, through Atlantic Records. I think Mike Karen kind of did it. Uh, Charlie Puth, he's the guy Charlie that actually Puth, sings yeah. on that. He, he, from the story goes, and you know, I don't know if this is a story that they told people or the story goes, but that he had heard a lot of p- different people who did, like Wale, I heard, did a, vo- a verse on that. Wayne did a verse on that. And, and Charlie told me when he heard, uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? And if you listen to that mm-hmm. beat, that, you, that part, 
Wiz made that part. Like, it's not in that song that you would do that type of bridge. So he basically was like, when I heard Wiz's verse, like, I knew that was it. Does he write all his own stuff? Wiz, I would say for the most part. I'm sure he's yeah. got, like, a couple hooks that, like, someone might have wrote for him. But for the most part, I, yeah. I think he was. I don't have a problem with people having. Yeah, no. Nah. I feel like writer. Christmas time is Mariah Carey, and when somebody dies, it's Wiz Khalifa. Forever. I mean, yo, they, that that's, song that's though, the song like, to, like for people who like do meet and greets, and it, when the song came out, and when people lose, like yeah. I just watched my someone lost their aunt, and they they, they, they it, played yeah. that song, and that means something though. That's why I fuck with Khalifa so much because like the fact that I'm tied to someone who had that impact and forever will have that yeah. impact. Mm-hmm. Because it's hard to have that one song mm-hmm. that's just going to cross over to generation to generation mm-hmm. to generation that like, can be played. It's kind of it's basically so like a lose yourself, to be honest with you. Yeah, I want to. Oh, yeah, exactly. Eminem, right? So yeah. here's the, the yeah, article yeah, yeah, yeah. is verses that conquer the world, the best selling rap songs of all time, and "See You Again" is number yeah. one. Oh, what wow. is lose, wow. lose yourself? Is basketball right? Would, would, would you say that sports? Uh, no. That's every sport. I, well, I, I would say it's everything. It's everything, for, man. But mainly Even, sports. Yeah, I, I would think, I think yeah. you, you hear lose, That's lose like, yourself in sports. Someone said it's the white people's dreams and nightmare. It's, it's, it's a lot of marketing, <laughs> guys. Yeah, it's a lot of marketing. It's, close. it's, it's more, a lot of marketing, guys. Like, people yeah. like Tony Robbins. Like, a lot of those people fuck with yeah. that. That's I think it's like everything. A, that's like an anthem. Like, lose yourself yeah. is like a win-win. Uh, so, I mean, it's still like yeah. a go I'm not mad at that song. Did, he, did Wiz write people that? People are really hard on M, though. I know. Why? I know. Uh, you know, they're always just like, like, yo, if Kendrick Lamar is like, this dude's one of my favorite rappers, I really think did you, you gotta like. Did you hear what he did? You said Kendrick Lamar? Guy? Yeah, I was just kidding on that. So. But uh, <laughs> what he did with Kendrick Lamar. Mm. So everybody was saying, oh, you know, he's so dope or whatever. So when he was on tour, M invited him to his studio. Mm-hmm. And then while they were there, he was basically like, you know, I want you to write this thing. He didn't believe that he wrote his own music. He didn't so believe that Kendrick or Eminem that wrote That Kendrick. It. Really? Yeah, so M tested him. And he fucking, he, he, he so he, he had all his friends with him. And he's like, yeah, man. He's like, I want you. And Eminem tested Kendrick. He tested oh, wow. Kendrick. And he had a bunch of people with him. He didn't him. think Kendrick wrote? No. He didn't. He didn't at all. You can you can probably find that on YouTube. But he he was with like twenty people, so he didn't want to get confused with whatever. So he was like, "Hey, man." He was saying Kendrick wanted to like take off, and he was like, "Hey, man." He's like, "I want you to tell these people to go away." He's like, "I want you to write something for me." M still gets off on rap, you yeah, know. Yeah, so like, he did. Yeah. He he said Kendrick killed it. So okay. he he just said he had a hard time believing it. You know, Why? everybody he was hyping. Every, you know, he just thought everybody was. Does everybody mostly have ghostwriters now. Probably. I would, I'd say. I would say for the most it's, part, it's the safe way to go, right? Uh, for the for labels, uh, the hard maybe. the hard thing with ghostwriting, mm-hmm. it's like you know I know Drake has a lot, so I mean I credit Drake to his he he performs, but how can you perform like if somebody's writing a song about being in the streets and you're not in the Drake's, streets? He's Drake's an actor. Yeah, that's, that's what that's why mm-hmm. it's, it's acting. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, but gee, he's such a good performer that I mean, you think Drake's a good performer? What's that? I think he's I think a good Drake's performer. Performances are like, I mean, I like his songs. I just don't like his concerts. I thought, oh, well, I've actually, to be honest with you, I've only yeah. been to one. And I, I don't. I even went wanna, to the, the most recent one here. I, I went. To, I saw him at MGM out here, but it was probably, I'd say, about yeah. a good five to ten, probably five, probably about five years ago. Yeah. Onyx, how long you been out here in Vegas for? Two years. Oh, that's it. Yes, yeah, that's mm. it. Two years. So I'm just You're a newbie. Yeah. I think yeah. I met you kind of when you. I did. Well, you yeah. know what's crazy is that yeah. you this. Podcast always pops up, and I see your face. And I was like, I know that guy. And yeah. then you're on the podcast. I'm like, I know him, but I think mm-hmm. I met you. I don't even know how I met you. We though. met through where we meet. I think we met through Jardine. Jardine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Jardine, yeah. What were you doing in there, trying to hook up with some of the nah, bud tenders? Nice. <laughs> I'm sure he <laughs> is. Oh yeah, because he don't smoke. Yeah, he don't smoke. Wait you know? a minute. Um, no, I was in there, in there little... getting some merch. Hold on. We went to. Uh... By the way, shout out to Jardine. Hugh, can you put their Yo. logo up there for us, so, please? Uh, they were having a a meeting about the new uh, project that they were trying to do. Right. I feel like yeah. I think we 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 met there and we just kind of like we just was chopping it up. No, it's crazy because yeah, when I saw yeah, the podcast, yeah. I was like, I know this dude. I don't know how. It's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. How did you get involved with Hardin? Uh, so I was an ambassador before. Uh, which basically meant like uh, I'm a, like an influencer for Hardin. Mm-hmm. So I mean, obviously with the Wiz Connect weed, and then um. Did was, you do it for the, the free weed, you cheap fuck? For no, sure. no, they were, paying, they were they were paying me. Yo, I'm telling you, Hardeen helped me no. through COVID. When there was no gigs, Hardeen was to holding me down mm. through COVID. I and didn't even know. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a weed person. Weed sales skyrocketed during so that time. When did, when did Hardeen God. open? 
Uh, so it'll be seven years in November. So prior to new. COVID, how? Still kind of new. Yeah. Uh, well, I went through some uh, shit during COVID, and I tried to. I love bombs somewhere. Whatever. Long story short, there. Um, and Adam, I always was like Adam. I think he's from Pittsburgh originally, so oh, there was like a little wow. connection. I didn't know him from that, but yeah. there was always this connection. He was like. I think we're going to work together in the future and it happens. So the last two mm -hmm. years uh, I've been running the ambassador program, mm -hmm. which I was in. And then also, you know, director of strategic partnerships is kind of my mm -hmm. yeah. title. Um, I think it's going to evolve here pretty soon. Oh, uh, you do a good job. Well, they're expanding. Yeah. Well, they're expand well, I'm just saying my role might evolve. Yeah. And I, I do want to get back to like some artistry. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what that looks like in the future, but I, I want to get back out there DJing more, being artists. You guys got to have family. a festival, bro. I know we're working on we have like these expansion things that we're working on so that's kind of taking a lot mm. and then also the weed market in general and around the world is very not like you know gas is six bucks um inflation mm. like so Listen, the weed man, business I, has not I, been I, super popular I do really well and I'm noticing the inflation and I'm like if I'm noticing the infl inflation I'm like the regular average people have to be because, I mean, I'm noticing it with everything, like you said, that started with the cars. I mean, the clubs, too. The I mean, groceries. A lot of clubs are, like, are downsizing. Ins. They're, like, not really paying. Like, I'm I'm actually shocked on what D they yeah. pay DJs out here. I'm like, oh, blows my Well, that's what I said as a resident, you know, like, so at Excess, there's four days. Well, they're paying 1200 So when you think about that, 20, a DJ's making five grand a weekend. And I'm like, I know tour DJs that aren't even fucking close to that right, you mean, know back I mean, then you're right i mean it's a thing it's not one thing you know it's not one like i've taken jobs for a lot lower than i should and i took good jobs for like really good money but it's just it's a journey you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. i'm not on that fuck you pay me type thing uh because some like people always be like you know dj for uh like i've taken high profile gigs for not a lot of money just to have the look you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do like, you have any goals while you're out here in Vegas? Well, that's why I want to do is kind of take on the DJing more again. Mm -hmm. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm doing this as well to kind of, like, widen my... I think I took a crash course in weed just being with Wiz. Like, who has that experience? <laughs> right. Yeah, you know? for so, real. So I think I'm valuable in that way. Mm -hmm. Plus, I've done radio for 20 years, and I Absolutely. do all this shit, so I know how to mm -hmm. speak and produce and do all this shit. But uh, I'm going to release records yeah. coming up. That's going to yeah. be the next thing, release records, and then... I'm really in this like point in my life where I'm like, are, are you gonna get us the tour bus deal? The tour bus, shit, let's go. <laughs> I, I got the, I got the bus coming yeah, by the way, the so you can see it in in person. Oh. But something crazy. So a girl that I you know that was on our show that I hung out with a lot, uh, she repped Harding <laughs> I very hung hard out with a lot. Uh oh, yeah. uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh there, there's doing the fingers. No, that <laughs> hung out. Yeah. With well, a no. Lot. Hey, you wanna know? Hey, you wanna know what's funny? <laughs> hung I, I'm gonna out. I'm gonna tell yeah. you I'm gonna tell a you guys lot. the Hardeen story because I've actually heard you say it too. What? What was so it? So the the I girl say? was a porn star, <laughs> but somehow or another, somebody signed her up. I think it was called an influencer, just the local influencer. Mm -hmm. And I read that package, and I mean, like, I was fucking impressed. I was like, "This is a shit." I'm like, "All businesses right. should do this." Right. And so I read it, and then uh, what's that guy? The, the famous Jerome Baker. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So Jerome Baker did a thing over at a uh, what was it? Uh, Planet Thirteen. Mm -hmm. So as a porn star, he asked her to come there. And they had like a stripper pole or whatever. So then the people at Hardeen saw her, and it was like a big ordeal, and they're like, "We have to fire you." And she's like, F fire me. I don't fucking work for you. Right. And they're like, well, you do. You're a, a local influencer. And she's like, I'm a porn star. I'm not an influencer. And it was funny because Adam actually looked into it. And then he was like, what the hell are you doing even being an influencer? But it was just a cross, you know, like some right, kind of like right, paths right, crossed. Right, right. So they worked it out. But right. she's always had it in my head. I think you said that too. Like, well, because they don't want to be working with competing dispensaries. It's like, why you, do they you said be, you, you. Why do they want to be posting right next to Harvey? Well, yeah, no I mean, shit. Uh, for our Planet Thirteen. But like when I asked you before, you said anything it, like that. You, you know? like to work with everybody. So well, like yeah, because I'm, I'm part of the cannabis community, so yeah. I. Well, so I, so I understand. I work that. with a bunch well, of different people. With a brand though that is sell is being sold at different dispensaries. So well, like. sauce, but no, I've been in the cannabis community for years. Okay. So yeah, I've worked with numerous different brands and dispensaries right. well, and yeah. doing promo and marketing. So when, yeah, I mean, I like it because I'm part of the cannabis community. When I'm for Hardeen first reached out to me, th this is, I mean, even though weed just feels like it's been around, it's a new space. So like all these rules are just being written for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when they actually asked me to be an influencer, 
or an ambassador, I was actually like, I don't know. What if Cookies wants to ask me? What if right. this, that's what? But the reality is that like Hardeen is, uh, you know, gives back to the culture. So, you know, standing years later, I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, wh- when did you hear about weed? And how it, music, movies, homies, and then Adam you know? is just a good person. Yeah, Adam's a man. Well, that's what yeah. I. I mean, obviously, I've been going to the Spearman Rhino. Zach was my been my host forever. He actually, I had the guy. There was a guy there before him, like huge celebrity guy named Rico. Okay, so Rico was my first original host, and then it was Zach. And it was funny because when I reached out to Zach, it was coming up my government name, so he didn't know who I was. Uh-huh. And I'm like, bro, you've been hosting me for like ten years at that's the hilarious. at the Rhino. But uh, I liked how they were connected with the the rhino. But the girl that was doing the the influencing, the she one just you hung out with the one I hung out with. <laughs> for a she lot. was she was pounding me to Hardeen. Oh, she was pounding you. Yeah, wow. <laughs> just about pounding me oh, wow. to Hardeen. But <laughs> I, I went swear. there, and like I said, I just liked I liked the vibe, and I was like, this is who I want to fuck with. I'm like, you know, I know people at Planet Thirteen. You know, they got Reef, but I'm like. It's not to me. It's not the same feeling as I mean, when you walk in. Every, anytime I go to the dispensary, uh, when I used to kind of check out the dispensary, I don't really go check them out as much. But I used to be scared that it would be better than ours. And like you know, time after time, I'm like, no, nah, this is this is the vibe. This you guys just got to get that. Like I said, I we we, we got to come up with the. I, I know Adam said you know he's been looking for the plan, but just you know, somehow getting the tourists over there because you know. Tourists are just kind of lazy and like. Right. Well, they think it's far, like two miles off the they, ship's far. But yeah. we're working on, like they Wayne said earlier, cookies, we're yeah. working on, we're working on an expansion that'll yeah, bring us closer to the trip. So, uh, and we're working in other cities right now, possibly. Nice. Florida, I think as far as Hardeen. branding Ooh. too, I think um, Hardeen's uh, brand awareness is fucking. Old. Oh, it's 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 through the, it's through the roof. And it's, it's gonna it evolves. It's gonna evolve. Like uh, you know, because of the financial situation with cannabis right now, like we're tightening up a little bit. Uh, we're you know not doing as much. Uh, like like you said during COVID, weed was like business was booming yeah um so basically we everybody, need everybody program. like wayne had them ppp loans who me yeah no i yeah, thought no. during covid i thought shit was popping during covid everybody had these checks coming and mm-hmm. shit was moving on stimulating the economy yeah so. and plus everybody was going through a downtime and weed is you know that's what the people well, like do. They, i guess you couldn't do shit here like no, i wasn't I was here for smoking, covid like you yeah. couldn't go out so people would smoke and you went back home to pittsburgh no or? i was in minneapolis, minneapolis. during oh, covid man. which was crazy that's a downer right well george floyd happened there so that was like Ooh. in the neighborhood yeah. like the couple blocks from where i was uh, at and oh yeah that's that, where shit was hitting the that fan was, on that the was news fucking, too who got, oh, yeah. who got crazy weird out there Definitely. Yeah. well before we get out of here where can people find you at, uh, at dj bonix twitter facebook instagram and twitch uh they can find me at hardeen they can find me um in Definitely. vegas right now and uh, what, on what stage about at the what about the rhino uh find you there uh they they might find me at rhino on the DJ 30th for MJ Bizcon. For MJ Bizcon. And what day you spend at Dre's? Um, it's sporadic. I'm doing uh, the 29th of this month, which mm-hmm. is like right before Halloween, Sunday night, which would be cool. And then uh, I'm actually doing the my very first time mm-hmm. by myself at the nightclub headlining on the 22nd and 23rd of, of December. Oh, nice. Are you doing oh we got to go to that one. Uh, no, no, should. Come on. Definitely Attend. come Are you support. In found uh, no, uh, you know, I have some relationships that live, uh, but no, like, I haven't been on my DJ Bonic shit. Like, I just, whatever comes to me, I'm taking. I haven't been on my asking people for shit, yeah. uh, which I like because it's just, everything comes naturally. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah what, I feel that. What about you, little Rach? Um, Lil. Lil Rage. Lil. Uh, so you can find me on the interwebs at Lil Rage, L A L R A Y C H. But I did just make a new page. Uh, Sean Kelly That's said it was too long, but I don't know, dude. I think it's the easiest way. Okay, it's it's Rachel on Green Room Radio, R A Y C H U L. She did that because she didn't want to mix us up with her modeling page. Look, she man, said. like the long. look, the modeling yeah. people, they're not liking it. I don't know. It, this is a mix. Like it's it's hard. Okay, like they don't I'm, like what? I'm half naked on my modeling page and freaking. I'm talking on this this radio show. You know, like so it's that's just that's a different like mix. So two different crowds. What, what, what's what what's you, your Wayne? modeling page, Wayne? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I bet this is a. Li- you, you have an only. You're fans. a heartbreaker. You're a heartbreaker. <laughs> I know you. Guys yeah, yeah, definitely. You. Since 14 years old, this guy's a heartbreaker. Thank yeah. you guys for you having tell. me on here. I had a good time, like always. But you guys can follow me on Instagram at the Creator. 
spelled T H E C R 38 T O R. All right. And you can find me just at Green Room Radio. I do have a personal page, T R U dot E 11 E V E N. I cannot keep up with two pages. So just Green Room Radio is what I'm on the most. <laughs> and then how about you, Mr. Hugh? Mr. Hugh. We what is this? No image available. No image available. Yeah, I guess he's uh he's he's blank over there. <laughs> we don't want Hugh. We don't want Hugh. All right. Well, thank you guys, and we will see you next week. Thank you. Peace out. <laughs>